And what's the collective feeling when Ben and who's deep there in the seventh, to answer and give you guys the lead again? Oh, that was big time. You know, I think you, you saw the whole dugout reaction. We were pretty fired up. Um, you know, and being able to do that all, you know, all game, anytime they scored, being able to answer back with a run or two uh, was big time and, you know, kept us in the game. But that was, you know, a big at bat for him. And the minute I saw him fall off the first, you know, slider in the seat, I said, oh, he's, he's seen him pretty well and he's on it. You know, his previous at bat hit a double to right center. So he was locked in there and that was big for us. Just one game, but the way things have been going lately, does it feel bigger than just one win? A win's a win. You know, it's a good one and it feels better, you know especially after, you know, the past couple of losses we've had and, you know, dropping that series. But um, no, I think you can just go up and down the lineup and each guy, you know, played a big part in that game. You know, if it was defensively, you know, offensively, you know, making a good play, you know, some of the base running, you know, especially Rizzo there in the first, you know, I didn't know he had that type of, th those type of wheels for him. And, um, you know, just collectively it was a good team win. Manoa goes up and in in the fifth and hits you. Did you take exception to that? Did you think it was intentional at all? No, but it's the heat of the moment. Nobody likes getting hit. What did you think of the reaction of the dugout? You know, everybody's everybody's watching the game. Everybody's into it. So I don't think, you know, no matter who gets hit, you know, I don't think anybody's going to take exception to it. And, you know, the dugout had a couple things to say, and then, you know, we move on. Right. Did you see the energy that can carry on and go into the next series that you saw today? Yeah, this was, these are fun games right here. You know, battling against one of the best pitchers in the AL and, you know, scratching out a couple of runs against them and, you know, getting the, you know, late big homer um, against one of their better bullpen arms. You know, you feed off that energy. The crowd was in it to the whole game. And, um, yeah, it can, it can definitely, you know, linger on. But we just, you know, take the highlights from today and let's get ready for this next two-game two right. series. I'm sorry, after you got hit, you could have escalated the situation. You de-escalated it by motioning to the dugout, seemingly asking for calm. Why, why did you take that approach? Uh, just just knowing the situation and, um, you know, it's it's a close game. And, you know, if, at first you're pissed and I was pissed, but I don't need anybody else getting thrown out, you know, for me, you know, getting hit. So I was just kind of moving on to the next play. I know Rizzo had a big at bat behind me and, you know, it's... You know, I'd, I'd be a little happier with getting a couple of runs and, you know, us brawling out there and losing a couple of guys. We're not all the same. Uh, we'll keep it between each other. Aaron, after you stepped up first, you kind of walked and met Manila halfway between mm -hmm. the mound and first. What caused you to, usually after guys get hit, you don't see that kind of interaction between the pitcher and the guy that he, mm -hmm. what motivated you to do that? We just had some stuff to say and... That's about it, you know. We move on. Was it amiable? <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think I know what that word means, but friendly. <laughs> yeah, it's we, we took care of business, and you know, move on.